Sega said, Well boys, our two Sonic movies have been massively successful, and we are now the kings of video game movies. Nintendo said, Oh. <laughs> Hold my beer. So the Super Mario Bros. movie is based off, well, the Super Mario Bros. property. And really, this movie is straightforward and to the point. I mean, it's a movie based on the Super Mario Bros. video games. It can only be so straightforward and to the point. Mario and Luigi both get sucked down a drain leading to a magical utopia known as the Mushroom Kingdom, and it just so happens that Bowser has turned up to cause problems. So Mario teams up with Princess Peach, and now they gotta find a way to stop Bowser. And rescue Luigi, cause Bowser has him. You know, it's really funny, I can, I can remember when this movie was announced, I was a bit cynical about it. I remember seeing the teaser and my intrigue was just not up there. I was pretty much like, why does anybody need this? Then again, why did we need two live action Sonic movies, right? Basically spent an entire month going, yeah, this movie's gonna suck Donkey Kong's ball sack. And then I saw it and you know what? This, this movie's actually pretty enjoyable. For a movie called the Super Mario Bros movie, this movie has everything you could want when it comes to being a fan of this property. But overall, the Super Mario Bros movie is just fun. It's just a really fun movie. In an era where everything needs to be a social commentary piece or have some kind of underlying political message, this movie is just pure fun and enjoyment that kids and adults can both enjoy. It's colorful, funny, and all the voice performances are really good. Chris Pratt is actually surprisingly great as Mario, and I know that there were a lot of people giving him hell when it was announced that he was going to be the official voice of Mario. That was actually one of the things that I was not cynical about. I was like, okay, if they're going to make this movie, I don't want to have to listen to it's me, Mario, the whole way through. They even make fun of that in the beginning, like, yeah, <laughs> those Italian accents are stupid. Some things just don't translate well into movies, so I didn't really mind that Chris Pratt was the voice of Mario. Mario's just kind of down on his luck in this movie, and he's just trying to find his calling in life. A lot like me, because I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm very lost right now. I also did like Anna Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach. She's got a lot of spunk. She's not taking anyone's shit, and she just gets crap done. And this somehow pissed off a lot of people, apparently. Why? Why? Just, just because she can't do that shit in the games? Well, to that I say... Oh my god, who the hell cares? Although I will say, the obstacle course was a bit much. She didn't need to do Mario like that. You've seen it in the trailer. It's where Mario is just getting his ass handed to him by this obstacle course. Peach does it in one try and is just like, well, I've lived here my entire life and yeah, I did beat it on my first try. That's like saying just because I live in the United States that I know how to bull ride. That doesn't make any sense at all. I think people are just a little too upset about the way Peach is portrayed in this movie, but she never overshadows Mario as a character. They're pretty much on the same page the entire time. I honestly just think that some people out there just lose their shit anytime they see a woman doing anything remotely cool or that's not seen as woman-like. She's a badass and Anna Taylor-Joy just kills it. While I'm on the subject of Peach, let's just... Jack Black is Bowser. Um, I never thought I would actually need this. We know from the games that Bowser as a character has a thing for Peach, but I didn't expect this movie to have so much fun with that. Guy is simping so hard for her that every time the movie cuts back to him, he's always doing something in her name. There's a reason that the song Peaches is so popular right now. It's just because it's funny as hell. As well as the meta humor and the references, this movie is just chock full of them. They throw just enough at the audience to get a laugh out of you, but none of the references or the meta jokes really feel forced. They always seem to make a reference in a way that flesh is out the world these characters live in, and I thought that was actually pretty cool and smart. They didn't need to go to the Banana Kingdom, but I'm kind of glad that they did. Otherwise, I would not have gotten <laughs> Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. I'm just saying, I'd watch a Donkey Kong spin-off movie with Seth Rogen in that role. He cracked me up more than he should, but inclusions of characters like him make the world feel that much bigger. Also, the environments and the animation are just spectacular. 
spectacular. Let me just say, this is some of the prettiest 3D animation I think I've seen in quite a while. Aside from the bad guys, just because the bad guys last year was awesome. Just the work and detail that went into recreating the environments from the game is just incredible. That just shows a love and care that the people behind this movie have for these characters in the Mario property as a whole. Kids are digging the heck out of this movie, and I'd imagine that there's probably adults out there that are digging this movie as well, and that, that thought, it, it does make me happy. Also, none more meta than Mario playing on the original Nintendo. What can I say? It just, it just cracked me up. In the end, that's all I really got when it comes to the Super Mario Bros. movie. I just thought it was a very fun and entertaining time at the movies. It's perfect for both kids and adults, and is probably even a little more perfect for Mario fans. Characters as well as the voice performances are great, and the love and care that went into making this movie really shows. Perfect for the movie theater, but even better when I put this movie into my collection. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thank you guys so much for joining me on my review for the Super Mario Bros. movie. I got one more review to catch up on after this, and that is John Wick Chapter 4. So keep an eye out for that video. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, I'm the Unbiased Movie Nerd, saying peace, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace out, everybody.